It's a Minimalist Monday edition of Optimal Living Daily, episode 2579, 10 Benefits of Choosing Experiences Over Things, by Rebecca Crespo of MinimalismMadeSimple.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. Happy Monday, welcome to one of the only podcasts in the world where blogs are narrated to you for free. That's with permission from the authors. And I like to provide a bit of my own commentary at the end. Today's commentary will be extra long because it's a topic I especially enjoy and have some other related articles to mention. But for now, let's get right to our Minimalist Monday post and start optimizing your life. 10 Benefits of Choosing Experiences Over Things by Rebecca Crespo of minimalismmadesimple.com. It's no secret that experiences are often more memorable than things. But when it comes to creating a fulfilling life and strengthening relationships, you can find that experiences are so much more valuable than things as well. Here, we're reviewing 10 reasons why experiences mean more than things. Number one, they make you happy. People who splurge on experiences, whether it's a day at a spa or tickets to a show, tend to be happier than those who only buy material items. Why? Because buying things doesn't generally make us feel as good as buying experiences do. We like things that serve us, like TVs, phones, and cars, but we enjoy experiences more when they help other people, like giving our friends concert tickets or surprising our partner with a weekend getaway. Number two, they're social. Unlike things, experiences can be shared with others and bring people together. Experiences can also create lifelong memories, which will enrich your relationships. More often than not, people buy gifts for special occasions such as birthdays or anniversaries and put a lot of time into finding that perfect present. However, if you truly love someone and have good communication skills, you can show them how much they mean to you by planning a special trip together. Number three, they help you learn and grow. One year of experience is worth far more than a lifetime or even several lifetimes with things. People who invest in experiences are not only able to gain a fuller and richer understanding of themselves, but they also become better equipped to handle whatever challenges life may throw at them in the future. There's no telling what we'll face next, but there's no doubt that it'll be something unexpected. The sooner we learn how to adapt, communicate effectively, and think critically about our surroundings, the better prepared we'll be for anything that comes our way. And as long as you keep your eyes open and your mind wide open, you never know where your next great adventure might take you. Number four, they teach you new skills. One of my favorite things about vacations is that they often expose me to new activities. I don't love skiing, but when I take a trip to Colorado, it's hard not to try it out for at least one day. When you choose experiences over things, your brain works differently than it does when you buy something. Instead of using your money as a way to prove worth or gain social standing, you use experiences as opportunities for personal growth and development. Number five, there's a story behind them. There's always a story behind experiences and reliving those moments gives us an opportunity to reflect on and appreciate that time in our lives. That is something material things simply cannot provide. Number six, experiences can be shared with others. Like relationships, activities and experiences can be shared. Getting out and trying new things with family or friends is a great way to have fun together. Plus, you'll find it much easier to relate to people about shared experiences. In comparison, you're going to have a very hard time sharing your new car or purse with anyone. The same principle applies when you look at vacations. They're much more likely to create lasting memories than any other type of purchase. Number seven, there are opportunities to meet new people. People experience life differently and they have different values and motivations. When you surround yourself with people who are passionate about something, it's only natural that you'll develop an interest in those things too. In fact, one study found that simply talking to someone who is enthusiastic about a topic increases your own enthusiasm for it by an average of 50%. Another study found that listening to someone talk about their favorite book makes us more likely to read that same book or other books by its author. Number eight, memories are better than stuff. 
Experiences make us happier than material goods. Having that new laptop will not bring you as much pleasure as eating at your favorite restaurant or taking that much needed vacation with friends. Experiences create memories and opportunities to interact with people that matter to you. Furthermore, they have a longer lasting effect on our well being than material things. Think about it. Would you rather look back fondly on a trip to Paris or a new wallet? Number nine, things can be replaced, but experiences cannot. When you buy things, you're always at risk of them being stolen, damaged, or lost. And even if they don't meet any of those fates, they will eventually go out of style and need to be replaced. But experiences can never be taken away from you. No one can steal your memories and they will never go out of style. In fact, the only way experiences can be taken away from us is if we don't take the time to have them in the first place. And number 10, people are more important than things. Living in an experience-driven world rather than a materialistic one is less about what you have and more about who you spend your time with. One of life's great paradoxes is that sometimes investing in things leads to experiences while other times letting go of things opens up space for new experiences to enter your life. Whatever you do, make sure it puts people first, family, friends, colleagues, etc., and less emphasis on things. It'll be worth it. Final thoughts. If you're looking for a surefire way to boost your happiness, set aside money for life experiences and put experiences ahead of material goods. Whether you're saving up for an upcoming vacation or planning your dream wedding, investing in these moments will have a lasting impact on your happiness. And when it comes to investing in yourself and your future, experiences are always better than things. You just listened to the post titled 10 Benefits of Choosing Experiences Over Things by Rebecca Crespo of minimalismmadesimple.com. Thank you to Rebecca. We definitely talk about the difference between experiences and things on this show from time to time. More common on Minimalist Mondays, of course. And I think all of these that she mentioned are fair points and something to remember when we're deciding what to do with our discretionary income. But I can't help bringing up some of my favorite articles on this topic specifically when it comes up. It's been a while since I mentioned them, but the fact that I still remember them just shows what an impact they had on me personally. And both are from the same website, lifeandwhim.com. Jay and Heather have a blog there with a couple of articles about this idea specifically and even talk about the science a bit. In one article, Experience the Longest Summer of Your Life, they talk about how new experiences specifically really slow things down. So you might have experienced this before when you're driving to some unknown place that's maybe kind of far away, and it feels like it takes forever to get there. But on the way back, even if the traffic is the same, it seems to take way less time. And that's because we're not only more familiar with the route on the way back, but we also start to see all these landmarks and recognize them. And that slowing of time that we feel is because it was a new experience on the way there. So to slow down a summer vacation, for instance, it could help to try to experience more new things. And the other article talks about how experiences, even after they're over with, seem to get even better whereas material objects depreciate and become old and broken or stolen. Not true of everything, of course, but generalizing. That article is titled, Experiences Not Things Get Better With Time. And it points out how when we look back at experiences, even when they were possibly bad in the moment, overall, after, when it's just a memory, is usually not only not bad, but we can look back on it fondly sort of related to what Rebecca talked about, but some expansion there, and I do recommend those articles. I narrated them way back in episodes 1217 and 1258. So you can check those out for more on this topic. And there's a decent chance I'll re-narrate those sometime in the future since it's been so long and I really enjoyed them. But that was a lot for my own commentary, so I'll leave it there for today. Have a great start to your week. Thank you for being here with me and listening every day, and I'll be back tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.